Hello everyone and welcome back to Let's Play Nox. I'm Nosgard Silverclaw here with our character, Jack the Adept Warrior. And today we gotta jump some fire. But more importantly, remember all that uh, anti-zap gear that I've been putting on? It's important that you guys are also wearing it too at this point, because this is where you're gonna need it. So we come in here and uh, we don't see anybody. Now I do have my Mace of Sturdy Collision currently equipped. But for this particular fight I actually want to switch to a higher damage weapon. So let me see what I've got here as far as damage. We've got an 18.89. Okay. We've got a 21.46. That's pretty good. And a 27. So... Yeah, we'll be going... We'll switch to the Mighty Bronze Longsword of Flame. The Flame's not so important. We just want high damage for this fight. Well, we can't get out. That's odd. And then there's the fight. Yeah, he just kind of comes out of nowhere and doesn't really say anything. He just appears and wants a piece of you. Now, this guy likes to do that. He's a lightning caster, which will just continually damage you as long as he's uh, standing... Well, as long as he can see you. Which is why I'm using these pillars here to break line of sight with him until I'm ready to hit him. Ow. Yeah, lightning really hurts. You gotta be careful with that. But he is a spell caster, which means he can be stunned like so. Well, Miz, he likes to teleport, or use the... Yeah, they have like a little blink ability where they just disappear from sight for a moment. He really likes to use it when he starts getting hit, which drags this out and makes it harder to get good licks on. You can see, if, they, if you don't see them and you shout, they don't get hit either, even if they're in hearing range. You could try and charge him, but it's kind of difficult to pull off because he wiggles around so much. Which is why I generally don't even bother, I just smack him with a sword. Okay, he's over there. Let's wait for him to come to us. Okay, where'd he go? Oh, there he is. Okay, you remember, you break line of sight and he can't zap you. Stop that. Hey. Ah! Finally, stun him a little bit. This guy even doesn't, like, get, um... When you stun him, he doesn't get, like, prone in place like the Necromancer did. But it still makes him all dizzy and it'll cut off a spell cast. A few more good hits on him. Yeah, he'll, rule of thumb, he won't actually attempt to use lightning until he's got distance on you. Hence why he blinks all the time. Where'd he go now? Remember, you can use that ability to help see him a little better when he's invisible. And we got him, just like that. Alright then, as I was saying, sorry about that, uh... Motorcycle was warming up outside, had to pause the video. This guy here's actually got some pretty good stuff, but I can tell you from experience we're not going to have enough room for it. So let's drop three swords and grab his stuff, because wizard gear is pretty light. And it's also... Oh, I guess I was one too high then. Yep, one too high. Wizard gear is pretty light, but it's also pretty... Are you kidding me? I'm too encumbered to pick up gold. Wow. Okay. How about now? <laughs> Yeah, you know you're carrying too much when you can't pick up gold. That is sad. But after taking out him, the uh, Keeper of Souls, you can just head up here and... They give you more stuff that I don't have room to pick up. Well, you know what, I don't care. I'm leaving it there then. We can cut through here. Sir, help me please. A mob of foul ogres just invaded Bryn, the village north of here, and kidnapped almost all of the maidens. One of them is my sweet sister, Glinda. Please rescue her, and I promise you a reward. Hurry, lad. The women don't have much time. You must rescue all of them before the ogres eat them. Apparently the ogres are eat women. Your warrior skills are becoming finely honed, aspiring Fire Knight. I must launch you on one more quest to determine your worthiness to wield the ultimate weapon against the evil queen. Ogres have attacked the village at Bryn and kidnapped the women, the fairest flowers of all the hamlet. The barbarity is unspeakable. You are the only one fit to enter the ogres' realm of Grok Tor to punish the beasts and bring the maidens back alive and unharmed. And just like that, they kick us in the chapter 5, right where we left off. You can cut back here, and you see there's some barrels back there we should probably break, but you gotta go the long way around to get to them. Annoyingly enough, there's no, like, grate we can just bust open to get to them easy, like. So this weapon's pretty much one as life stands to me. So we'll go ahead, crack that open. Beat up some spiders and whatnot, for an easy secret. 
With a sturdy iron battle axe, that's actually a pretty good one. That said, it's also very heavy, so we're going to need to sell some stuff if we want to pick that up. Lucky for us, there is a spot to sell stuff coming up rather soon. We can go down here and check around, see that the bridge is out. As usual, the bridge makers and knocks are terrible and probably, uh... Probably shouldn't get paid. Oh, oh, we got an ogre. The, now, right here is interesting. These guys actually will help you fight them, but they don't, like, go with you or anything, and all ogres drop flimsy iron ogre axes, or rather the ogresses do. So, uh, and there's a lot of them. I mean, they, you pretty much show up at the moment of the attack. They are everywhere. See what I mean? They're like, are you seriously running into town to get away from the o the attack? That That's silly. Once you come in here, get ready for a pretty big fight. Go ahead, smack the big one, because he's pretty tough. Yeah, you go right in the town, and they are already here, messing the place up. Gives me more experience for me, though, as far as I'm concerned. Now, you see all this fire? It will hurt you. But there is an easy solution to get around the fire. All these water bales around the area, you can push them right in the fires, and it puts them out for you. That'll come into play a little bit here or there. Different parts of town that'll be pretty useful in. And on a lot of it's just because, I guess, they wanted to show off they had that mechanic. So, like, there's no point to put that one out, for example. So what we want to do first is, you know, ow, not step in fire. And be careful when you push him in because the fire doesn't go out right away. But by opening that one up, we can get in here and get some easy money. We like money, right, guys? Yeah, we like money. So, back here we've got, ow, more fire. You can jump that one to come around the back way. But really, there's no point. It's just an alternate path to get around. Put out some more fire, because I can. There's, there's easily enough bales that if you're not breaking the water bales... You'll always have, um... Enough water, as long as you're not breaking bales like crazy for no reason. Because water bales never have loot. They're only water. The ogres just ran off with my father's precious cloak. If I don't get it back, he'll be destroyed. He's supposed to arrive soon. Please help me, kind sir. I think the ogres who took it went to the docks. Could you... would you get it back for us? This is one of the few optional quests in the game. Yeah, I'll get your cloak back for your father. There's not many of those, but there are a few in the game where it's just a quest that is legitimately optional. Pick up some shurikens there that I'll probably never use, because I'm just not a fan of shurikens, in all fairness. But what I want to do is, ow, get burned a little bit. I was going to say what I want to do is get burned some more. Here we go. Find a way to a shop so I can sell some junk. We got an inn here, but there's probably a better shop than an inn. They don't normally give good prices for weaponry, like this guy, for example. You're not going to find anybody around here with better prices. So let's do a quick comparison. He'll pay us 62 gold for a sword. That's pretty good. Do any better shop though? Hmm. It appears we have more ogres. Don't worry about the archers. They can't hit us. They'll only attack them. And you can actually lure ogres over here to get assistance with the fight if you wanted to from the archers and their little murder holes. But yeah, it looks like that's the only shop we're gonna find today. Oh, all right, because right, the other one's dead. I knew there was another one, but that's right. He's dead when you come here. So yeah, we'll go ahead and sell all our stuff to him. We'll do that off-screen, so I'll see you guys in a little bit. Alright then, all done selling, guys. This is what I kept. We got our, uh... Mostly the gear we were already equipped with, including that sword we just put on. And I sold pretty much everything else, because... We don't really need the rest of our gear right now. Like, this stuff is good enough for now. We can repair our gear, but I don't feel like it. So through here, we've got more fire we can deal with. And putting out the fire does reward you with loot quite often, so... It's definitely not a bad idea to do so. There we go. Sadly, this house, you def there's nothing good for breaking that one. There we go. From here, though, we can come over here, break these, and still get nothing good. But there is a chest with a health potion if you need one, which currently I do not, but it'll be there for later if I want it. Here we've got yet another bale hidden behind some fire. And again, we get nothing good for it. Yeah, they do that a lot, sadly. I don't feel like wasting my durability, so I'll just break these with my bare hands, because I'm just that masculine. Look how macho this guy is. Just 
such an open boxer. He's like a boss. Oh, I did go ahead and sh sell all my shurikens as well because I very rarely feel the need to use them. On other characters, I see the value of range, but these guys, the warrior is so tanky, I don't... I just don't think it matters because he's, he's a tank. He can just take the hits. He doesn't need to hide at range. Oops, clearly I had him equipped. Well, that was a waste of money. I just threw three of them I could have sold, but... Whatever, they're not worth much alone anyway. So, back at the inn. Did I break this area? No, I did not. Okay, just water bills in there. Go ahead and bust that one open. Jump through that hole in the wall to get back. Stop wasting your shurikens. Going all the way back there and breaking all that gets us a few potions. And I'll pick up the anti-poison one, I guess. I believe I've checked all the houses out. Houses now. But remember all that gear back at the beginning? The, uh, like the hidden sturdy iron axe and all that that we found? Well, I can go back and get that. I mean, you have that option. You can go all the way back to the start and pick up anything you missed. And it might, the problem is the, the ogre axes don't sell for much and they're really, really heavy. So I generally don't think it's worth it. But it is an option. You can do it if you want. You can go all the way back down this way and do that. Uh, I have a little bit more to sh check out over here before we go, so I will be making the back trip, actually. Because I do want to pick up the one at the very back. I mean, I'm not going to bother picking up all those flimsy axes or anything, but the sturdy axe is actually pretty good. So that one I will be taking with me, being this one way back here. The rest of them, eh, screw them. They're, not, they're just not worth the hassle to me. Come on. There we go. Yeah, he wasn't he didn't want to move for a moment there. I'm not sure why. So with that, we're gonna go ahead and put that in our secondary slot with the Shurikens are, because see the flimsy one? Damage 34.59. Pretty good, but very heavy. This one weighs less, and it's only slightly less damage. So it makes a good secondary weapon if you don't want to use your fire weapon. So I'll go ahead, carry the problem with the axe though, for the record, is that they're kind of a little bit slower. I mean, you can't really tell, I guess, because I'm not hitting things, but they are slightly slower than, say, the long sword I had before. But that's okay. Yes, forget all those axes. I'll get rid of them later. I could, you know, just pick them all up off screen, sell them, make a little money, but I don't really think it's necessary. I, I generally don't spend all the money I have anyway by the end of the game. So I'll save some time and not bother. So let's get started, shall we, into the proper part of this. Down here at the dock they spoke of, which means that the cloak we're looking for should be in an ogre somewhere through here. Oh, hey there. You got the cloak? No, you don't. Must be a different ogre. Where is it? Hmm. Well, it's here somewhere. Trust me, one of the ogres around here will drop the cloak when you kill it. You just gotta find the right one. Which can be a pain, admittedly, at times, but I'll find it eventually. Wait, is that it? Oh yeah, it's right here, I think. Yep, here it is. Mani There's the cloak we're looking for. Apparently one of the ogres who got shot by the archers had it. Which means I walked right by it obliviously. Well, phooey. So bring that back to the girl who asked you to find her father's cloak, and... Oh, thank you so much. Please accept this as a token of my appreciation. You get 250 gold and 250 experience. I don't really care about the gold, but more experience will always be helpful. You can never have too much experience, after all. But with that, we can actually head on properly to our ogre slain. After we cut out through this side area here. Kill some more ogres up in the corner. Damn. Yeah, you see how this is swinging a lot slower, but it does a lot more damage? It's a pretty good weapon if you like that kind of thing. Some people don't like slow, powerful weapon. So we cut through this cave here, and this actually leads us on the way to the ogre... Well, the proper way of the ogres. And there's a hollowed out stump with a health potion in it if you need one. I thought I saw a spider. I did see a spider. And more spiders. An annoying thing about this game, every time you transition screens, you gotta turn your minimap back on if you want it on. Which, well, whatever. <laughs> Silly spiders. And bats. Yeah, situations like this is where I wish I had a, a faster weapon, because 
they're gonna keep hitting you for one over and over the whole time that you're, well, rewinding back for a second overpowered swing. You can do things like stun though if you really want to, but meh. It's hard for me to take them seriously, they're only like bats. This I will try and take seriously, this is a wolf. So through here we've got even more ogres. And nothing we can't handle though. Break the boxes to get some of the food back we lost in the fight, as well as a mighty cloak of Polyp's Bane that is also uh, poison resistance. It's just level 3, so it's actually pretty damn good. We'll go ahead and put that on. Because level 3 resistance is worth my time. Oh, come on. She moved slightly to the left. Well, whatever. She's dead now. Bad time. Down. Give you a few. If you're a, a mage type, such as the conjurer or the wizard, this area can actually be kind of difficult on the basis that there's not that many stones you can take for mana regeneration. And see those TNT bales? We'll deal with that in a second after we deal with this one. So, those shurikens that I never use, I'm gonna make an exception and use one. Well, it didn't quite kill her, but it did soften her up. If you get enough uh, of those bales together and just get somebody close enough to them, you can mess them up pretty good with those. In this case, only did a little damage and didn't help as much. And alright, I'll take a potion. That might be probably getting annoying. More poison with this that I'm probably not going to use anytime soon. But since these guys don't have shield, I suppose I'll put a few sweet and shots in them. Why not? Just get rid of them because I'm not a huge fan of them. I mean, they aren't entirely useless. I'm just not a fan, you know? They do work, as you saw there, you can put them out pretty quick. Get a solid 3-4 hits in if you tie if you uh, aim well. Oh, careful. That was not the meant I meant to hit the other bale, but well, what can you do? So here we've got nothing. As usual. I'm just using my faster weapon because I'm getting... I, I wanted to demonstrate the sturdy axe, but I prefer faster weapons myself. So now that I've demonstrated it, I'm going back to what I like. I'd rather be able to hit twice in, you know, one second than hit once in two seconds if I can choose. Now these ogre males are actually a lot tougher. So you do want to be careful with them. They also was a lot more experience too, so that's nice. But they hit a lot harder themselves. You can see I'm already down in the wet again. But this is why I consider the, the warrior to be the easiest class. Because the valid strategy really is just walk up and let everything hit me in the face. It, it works. You can survive like that in this class. Nobody else can pull a stunt like that. Now we're at the ogre den proper. Problem is, the gate's locked. So we're going to have to find a way in. But we'll deal with that next time. And yeah, they like to huddle up near the gate, which is kind of funny to me. But we'll do it that next time, like I said. So for now, I am Nosgard Silverclaw. Here with our character, Jack the Adept Warrior. And we hope that you enjoyed our tour of the burned down, pillaged village of Bryn. Have a good one, everybody.